Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. I want to look at some of these all-time records and just bring you up to speed uh, with how much snow we've seen season to date. The race to 800 inches is on between Brighton and Alta up there at 770 and 764. Snowbirds at 705. Mammoth Kirkwood Palisades all at about uh, 700 inches. Just all-time records went down. Uh, they've been broken. Mammoth. Bear Valley ski area, all these places are just setting all-time snow record accumulations. Jackson Hole's at 554, likely to end after this storm cycle at about 600. Um, Park City is doing uh, 546. Wolf Creek is making a run at 500, which would be a big season there. Of course, uh, Wolf Creek Summit has seen quite a bit more than 470. Um, Vail's at 322. You can see the other numbers on the list. So let me take you into my introduction here, my bullet points. So I've got snow bullseyes um, I'm tracking in the forecast for California, Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Colorado, parts of Montana, the Pacific Northwest, including Washington and Oregon State. So we'll look at all that. So the prime time for California, the next heavy snow, is 4-2 to 4-4. The Tetons, all that heavy snow starts up late tonight, runs all the way through 4-4. And the Wasatch starts up late tonight. It snows heavily through 331. We'll get a break. Next storm, 4-3 to 4-5. There are some important things to um, discuss, though, in this afternoon update. And let me just take you over here to um, the radar satellite. So this is visible. There's our big low right there. Another big low behind it. Another one up here. Um, so pretty uh, rich flow with a powerful jet bringing all this moisture in. Oh, our graphics are been impressive over the Sierra. Um, and then that's going to take all that snow and move in and into the interior. Now, the issue with the afternoon update here, this morning it, looks like, it looked like all three of these lows would be key players in the forecast. This afternoon it looks like maybe only two Possibly only two will be a player. If that happens, the total accumulations through the next nine days go down, obviously. So that's really the issue. Will it be two lows or will it be three through four seven? Certainly no more by tomorrow. But I wrote about it this morning. Um, Record-breaking snow continues through four seven, and this morning it looked like there would be three storms through 4.7. So that's what I based it on. If you want to see that graph I showed you, it's right there on the update season snow to date. That was the current setup. The forecast pattern, now look at this. This morning it had a very deep trough and a pretty striking area of low pressure over California. That's what was producing a third round or continuation of very heavy snow during the period. That's not the case this afternoon. In fact, here's the update of the jet. Quite a bit different with a significant ridge pushing into the Pacific Northwest and kind of a cutoff low over California, but not nearly as impressive as what was being shown this morning. So just keep that in mind. Um, we'll watch the pattern. Um, so, okay, back to um, the blog. I did a breakout for Jackson and Brighton, but I want to show you what the forecast radar and satellite is before we get to that. So here we are on Thursday morning, snow moving through the interior, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado into 331, and then it's out of here. Comes the next second big low, Pacific Northwest begins to establish a rich flow, um, and then it hits the Sierra. Look at the interior getting nailed for two or three days straight. Um, so that's the second low. There really isn't anything behind this in the afternoon update. So that's where the differences come in. But through 4344, we're solid with snow for a lot of places. There's my breakout of Jackson Hole. I had a ton of snow every single day, all the way through 4.7. Without that extra low, the numbers after 4.4 are less certain. In Brighton, um, the numbers after 4.5, after 4.6 are all less certain. There isn't much there, but you can see the numbers are pretty hefty through 4.3. Forecast totals from this morning. Let me show you what I'm thinking this afternoon. So the rest of today through 331, uh, over a foot coming for the uh, the Wasatch, 8 to 10 for the Tetons, and about 4 to 10 in Colorado. Period 2 
It's still big, but not nearly as big as what I was thinking this morning. About another foot for the Sierra. So if we don't get that extra low, the numbers in the Sierra drop way off. But we're still looking at about two feet during that period in the Wasatch and the Tetons. Less if we don't get that third low for big sky parts of Idaho, Washington, and Oregon State. Colorado's numbers go down, but still looking at 6 to 12. So that's really the big piece of the afternoon puzzle is do we get that extra low or not. Um, in the northeast, I don't have much. There just is no one big consolidated area of low pressure, so the numbers are pretty low. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Uh, take care, be safe out there, and we'll talk later.